best entertainment on the earth. Tune in for Comics with Birch. Hey everybody, this is Birch, and uh, hey, this is a new one, so uh, one of the sponsors, one of the people who wants to sponsor the show, or, or was giving that offer, just, just gave some Amazon gift card credit, worked, so now I feel obligated, you know, <laughs> give me $25, so here we go, uh, this episode of Birch, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get through it, uh, this episode of Birch is sponsored by Worthy, what is Worthy? Well, Worthy is a service where you take your jewelry that you're not really using anymore, junk, that kind of stuff, and uh, they can they'll they'll give you cash for it. It's 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 basically like an online pawn shop. It's it's you take this this ring, and uh, you get set the price and everything else. So that that puts you in charge. But if you've been sitting around thinking, you know what, I really I I want some plastic surgery. I want to buy some fentanyl, whatever it happens to be. Uh, how do you get that cash? Well, worthy. That's how you get that cash. So, so take some of those rings. Are they yours? Nah, they should be, but let's say they're not. Uh, that they, you know, that's not worthy's problem. So uh, get get some of those rings. Uh, get some of that old jewelry that you're not. They'll they'll give you the worth. That's the name worthy. And then uh, you know, and they, and they'll all work out for you. So put put in a comic context. You know, let's say you stumble across Mandarin's rings. You know, you can give them to Riri Williams so she could kind of experiment on them. Like what's going on in the current uh, Iron Man comic, or, and hear me out here, you could you could you could you sell those on Worthy, and uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, no, nobody's going to buy all ten; they get dispersed. So you're not you're not creating a real big problem. I mean, besides that, people have kicked the manager's ass all kinds of times. So you'll be you'll be okay. All I'm saying is is Riri, sell those rings using Worthy. Give yourself some extra cash. Get that boob job you want. That's 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 uh, it's to me sim- simple. Simple, simple problem solution. All right. Well, with that out of the way, uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about comics and and kind of this interesting dynamic of you have paper comics that you can hold in your hand, you have digital out there that uh, you know b- b- people are reading. I mean, sometimes you get the impression that nobody is reading digital. That like there's just people are hard refusing it, and we know that's not the case. Uh, based on I mean, hell, if nothing else, based on just the pirate sites, we know people are downloading and and getting these books. But, uh, but there is a problem. I was reminded of this. Uh, some, so yesterday, uh, somebody comes down the street and they start handing out, uh, they're, they're, they're throwing newspapers onto the driveway. And I, I was like, I was, I, you know, I'm, I'm amused by this. Like, ah, oh, there's, there's a bunch of things here. There's like a, a kid on a bicycle with a bag of newspapers, throwing newspapers out. I just, it, it was, it was like, I've stepped back 30 years. And, um, as I'm looking at it, I, I'm the, the kid's like, try it out. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll try it out. I did, I didn't. I, I picked it up, kind of looked at the headline. It's like uh, something's going on with Russia and Ukraine. And um, I thought this will this this you know I'll just put this in the garage and then you know this will start a fire later uh, when we're doing some barbecue or something or uh, you know whatever. whatever. Well, this this is what that's for. Right? You're not gonna start a barbecue with newspaper. It'd be disgusting anyway. But whatever. Um, so I'm not, I'm like, I'm not going to convert. I get my news digitally. And so then I started thinking, why, why, why did I make that move? Because like many of you listening right now, um, uh, I like reading things on physical paper. Um, I, I just, I, I prefer it. Um, I like holding it in my hands. There's something tangible about it. I, I prefer that model, uh, far better to, to a digital solution, except, uh, you know, with, with news, I haven't read a newspaper in years and don't plan to. Uh, imagine if uh, you traded email for printed postal mail. Like you, you would not, nobody's doing that. We've all, we've all moved, made that transition. All of you. Uh, is there anybody out here in the audience that wants to admit they're still reading a, a paper newspaper? They're buying paper magazines to, for whatever reason, and uh, they're they're actually printing off email that comes in so you can read it on paper. Are any of you doing that? I I, I doubt it. I mean, by all means, you know, self self volunteer if that's you. But why is it that we uh, we we gleefully made that transition? But with comics, we're dug in saying, nope, this is the way it is. This is we're, we're never changing. This I, I refuse to go to digital. 
And there's been several people when I've talked on this channel about this, they've said, you know, if, if they ever stop doing printed comics, that's the last comic I'm going to read because I refuse to ever, ever go digital. Well, I, you know, peeling that back a little bit. Okay, so I, I'd rather read things on physical paper, but I don't do it. So, so, so what is the difference with comics? Well, I think there's several. Now, first off, there's a pricing difference. The reality is, you know, when I, you're buying a newspaper, you are buying a paper. Whether it's, uh, you know, $0.50, cents, $1.25, I have no idea what newspapers cost anymore because I haven't even contemplated buying one in a good 20 years. But, you know, when online news came out, it was free. And, you know, sure, it's supported by ads, but, you know, they're, you're, you, you realize you're making, they're making money off you somehow, but it's, you know, they're not taking it from you, so, you, you know, it doesn't matter. You put an ad blog in there, it's fine. And I was also remembering that, you know, here we are, you know, years and years later. And I don't know about you, but for me, I still get annoyed and offended and then do not use it when I hit a pay block. So if you go like the New York Times or you go to the uh, Wall Street Journal, uh, if, if I hit that paywall, I'm, I'm, at, I'm like, eh, I'll find the news somewhere else. Because I know I can just take the headline of whatever is searching on those sites, throw it into Google, click news, and then some other site will be giving me the same story. And uh, I don't value the journal or, or the New York Times. I don't, I don't value their writing grammar and style enough to stick with it. Some people do, but for me, it's out. So cost is one of those reasons. You know, digital is free. Okay, free compared to paying money. Even if it's a little bit of money, that, that helps a lot. No comics. Digital and printed comics are the same. Same exact price. So I think there's one problem. The next is time. So, you know, you got the feeling in your mind with all of these services, whether it's email, whether it's newspapers, magazines. I mean, do you want to wait till tomorrow morning to hear your news, the news of the day? I, you know, I, one of the things I used to be really impressed by and kind of marvel at is how news would break, people research a story, there'd be a deadline, we've got to get this to press. I, I, I love that. That idea, the idea that you have to scramble against the clock to get the news out because if you miss the window, you're going to miss it. You basically got a 24 hour window. You might do a special edition that goes out in the afternoon, but like that, that now we're into the, like the 1940s, uh, you know, but that, that doesn't happen. But the idea that, that there was a, a wall and you had to scramble to get all the news in before that wall, leave breaking stories, hold the presses, that, that whole concept is, is kind of cool. Well, you know, that's one of the benefits to online. If there's a news breaking, you know, breaking story, you'll know within four minutes. You will write it, throw it up online, you know, instant. And in a lot of cases, if you think about it, how many stories pop in and they're big deals, and then by the next morning, they're, the, the news is kind of over. That's, that's a lot of things. And so there's a speed component here to go to digital. You know, if, if you know, it, it, and, and, this is where, at best, you have comics that come out, say, on Comixology and Wednesday in the shop at the same time. But, but generally, it's the opposite of what you'd expect. The digital version of the comic, if you think of Marvel Limited, some of these other things, it comes out a weeks or months later. So the printed version, the kind that's going to get printed, stapled, you know, thrown in your box, sent to a comic shop, put on the shelf, you buy it, you get home, you read it. That process is still faster than when you can get the digital reading experience in your hands. Again, not, yes, Comixology exists and it's day and date and all that, but, but by and large for a lot of these channels, it's much slower. One of the frustrations people have with movies is that, uh, you know, the, the time from it being launched in the movie theater to available on a streaming platform is, is a while. And uh, during the pandemic, you saw that a lot of uh, these studios were putting stuff out on their platforms kind of on day one, they were launching there. And now they're like trying to dial that back a little bit to give you know, the, the movie theaters back the, the content, but people don't like it. There's, there's, there's resistance. Now the, the movie makers and the theaters, well, those people of course like this. It's not a like the direct market, but you know, the people of, of how they're consuming their, their, their movies and that, that kind of stuff, they miss the old, they miss those pandemic days where they got the movie instantly in, the, in their living room. So it'll be interesting to watch how that plays out. I think, you know, 
we're going to get back to day and date on a digital platform for movies. We're, we're absolutely going to get back there. There's just, people, people got teased with this, this option and they're not going, they're, they're going to resist until they go back. One movie studio is going to go, you know what? I can just put this stuff out on the same day. I cracked how I get the business done and, uh, screw it. This is what I'm going to do. And then everybody's going to be forced to follow. I promise you that's how it's going to go. But you'll notice, so I, I think speed and cost are, are really big issues. If you solve those, I think the digital world is, is going to go. I think the other one is, is probably usability. Just how easy is it to get the comic, pick it up, read it. With news, you know, thanks to search engines and other things, or you know, in some cases, automatic alerts just come into your phone. You, it's the easiest thing in the world to consume these services. You know, with email, a lot of people dismiss the notification uh, feature. That was a big one. It's like, I don't even have to look at my device. It'll be like, Ding. okay, I should look at my device now. That's that, that kind of stuff made it so easy to consume these products and these services that people went for it. But with comics, um, you know, it's still clunky. I've talked about this before, but getting a comic online, getting it in a, in a digital platform is, is rough. It just sucks. It's uh, it, it is work to get there. Amazon uh, revamps Comixology somehow makes it even worse. But these, these tools are just not friendly. Now, some of you may be, you know, digital natives. You grew up with this. It's not that bad for you. But, and that's great. Good for you. But if you're trying to transform a business from a traditional printed business to a digital business, you know, the early adopters, the people who come in and they just, they're like, I know what to do here. I, you know, Marvel Limited makes sense to me. I, I love it. Cool. I'm one of you, by the way. I adopt technology super early. But, you know, if you put on a critical eye and you look at it, you're like, there's a lot of things here that are just obnoxiously clunky for people to use. And, you know, that's always going to be a problem. But comics has to solve those things. It can solve those things. I think you will see digital start to pick up just like, you know, sites like Read Free Comics and these other places that are pirating. Somehow they're, they're starting to get a pretty good momentum of readership well they solve the time problem comics are uploaded you know almost the day they come out they solve the price problem it's just free supported with ads and the usability is easier so anyway we'll see we'll see how it all goes what do you think what's what's preventing you from going digital just curious let me know in the comments below, and thanks for listening.